I video generation just got the biggest update of a lifetime. Can't swear in this. One day since its release, but we're already here making videos, making workflows, making it work for the community, which I love. I'm going to be talking in this video just like you understand video generation, AI video generation, you know the basics of ComfyUI. I'm not going to go into deep into like each topic. Um, if you are a beginner and you don't know anything, you might want to start in the community. There's some great tutorials, there's some great stars with image generation. So if you're a beginner, you might want to check that out first. First, I just want to talk about what models are there. So in WAN 2.1, we had the 14B model and the 1.3B model. This is how many parameters they have. So one is small and fast, one is large, not fast, a lot of VRAM. WAN 2.2 actually has two 14B models. One that does the first interference and the other one that does the detailed interference. Both of them are 14B models. That means in all we have 28 billion parameters for video generation, which is amazing. And on the other side again, we have the 5B model, which replaces the 13B model. This is great because it's a good mixture between less VRAM, faster, but it, it has quite a good quality. It's not as low quality as the 1.3B version. So these are the models. The 5B comes as TI to video, which just means it is text to video and image to video in one model. Basically, it's better, it's quicker, it uses less VRAM, it's more cinematic, all around a better model, which is great. But how do you run it? Well, there's two main ways to run it. If you have enough VRAM, which this is what they recommend to have. Um, all you have to do is go to Comfy UI, like you would usually would, go to Workflows and go to Video, and there is a VAN 2.2 for images, like image to video and text to video. So just select it and you're finished. UI for that day one support. But if you don't have enough VRAM, this is where my workflow comes in. First, you have to go to Civit AI. To my model page. On that model page I have a download section. Now this will have the GGUF conversions done by other people. I have their profiles there too so if you can't find the model you're looking for maybe use that. Right? Which quantization to take? Basically the lower the number Q2 less VRAM. Q8 high VRAM. That's all you need to know. The size should about correspond to how much VRAM your GPU has. So for my case it's 4 gigabytes so I'm looking for the file that has 4 gigabytes. Make sure you download the correct VEI. There's either a VEI included or you just have to look up for the VEI 2.2 in the normal files. You have all the models installed. You can download the workflow on Civit AI, put it into ComfyUI and you might need to install some missing nodes. Please use the manager for this I'm going to have them in the links as well, but it's better to just use the manager. Okay, so let me run you through my workflow and how I like to use it. So here we have the models and LoRa section, right? Like I said before, it has a high noise and a low noise model. Now, you can see the first one is the high noise one and the second one is the low noise one. These are all enhancements. I'm not going to go through each one, but they are quite good and important. In, the, in another video, I actually went through them quite well, so maybe check that out. Now, I had to make it just two, because there are two models we have to load. This purges the VRAM. It's very important, because otherwise, um, trying to load the second model, the other model is still in your VRAM, and it's just too much for my laptop. Again, if you have good VRAM, you don't really have to care, you could delete this. So, we have the two tiled case sample. They're tiled, again, less VRAM because it makes one section and then another section and then another section. I have the empty Honyuan latent video. It's just a placeholder, I guess, because I don't have an empty van latent video. This um, 
connects to the enhancements and to the first sampler. And then the second sampler just takes the latent from the first, puts it in the second one. Okay, very simple. Negative prompt, positive prompt, also very simple. They decoding tiled again, again, low VRAM, and an upscaler. Right now, as you can see, I have the upscaler um, bypass, but the normal model is just going to be like this. You can bypass it if you like, um, depending on what you need. I also am loading the clip in the CPU. This makes it a little slower, but then the clip is not using VRAM. You can also change this to default if you want. This depends on your situation. Now, how do you run it effectively? I really like this LoRa called Light X2V. It is a CFG distilled LoRa model. What does that mean? It means that I can set the CFG to 1 and it will still work. Setting it to CFG 1 makes it a lot faster because it doesn't have to adhere to your prompt as much. It can use a lot more imagination, there's a lot more benefits from it, but make sure you use the LCM sampler. Using this distilled CFG hack, we only technically need four steps, so I could do two steps of the high noise and two steps of the low noise. This is where it gets something like this. Now, I like to do four by four, so eight steps in total gives me great results. That's what I like to do, but you know, play around with it if you like. And length. <laughs> with my laptop, I really haven't been getting past 33, to be honest. But you might have some. Um, and that is about it. If you want to know more about these notes, maybe check out one of my older videos. I go through them quite well, so, you know. Okay, now let's take a look at the image to video version. This is the 5B version of the model. This will be the 5B version. I'm going to have a workflow for the 14B image and text, and I'm going to have for the 5B both split up. So it's going to be four workflows. Um, the difference here is simple. It's only one pass-through for the 5B version. So it's not a second um, tile case sampler, it's just all in one, because it only has 5 billion parameters. Um, I have the LoRa disabled here because you cannot use the Light 2V distilled LoRa with um, 5 billion parameters. It has to be with the 14B version. Now, Nice part about the 5B version is it does both text and image to video in the same model, so no need to download um, it twice. It just works on both things. Um, there's a node van image to video that basically just works as a connector to input an image workflow. This is right here. This is also load and resize the image. So instead of putting your width and height here, which I usually use 480p, you can do it right here and make it the same as the image size you're loading in. Okay, as you can see, I still don't have the upscaler because I'm just testing it for now, but everything seems to be ready to go, and let's try it. Um, also important, VAN 2.1 VAY. I've seen some need the VAN 2.2 VAY, some still use the VAN 2.1 VAY when using the GGUF conversions. So if you're getting some errors, maybe change that. A good tip is you can set it to fix, and if you change this or this, it won't have to do the whole steps again. It can just have the latent image and decode it after the error. Okay, let's run it. So, I hope this video helped some of you guys. I couldn't go through everything, like the installation or something. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just look it up. Ask ChatGPT, it will help and it will be no problem at all. That's how I did it. Now, in conclusion, I want to say the best and fastest way to run this model on a little laptop, on little VRAM, is to use the low and high denoise Q2 quantization use the CFG distilled LoRa 
it is already loaded in there it's going to be a managed resource on the civet ai page so just download it put it where it needs to go and then four steps on the first one four steps on the second one it's going to look amazing and it's going to be quick and you're going to be able to run the 5b version is also good but just without the LoRa, it's not as fast and the quality won't be as good so i would avoid it and nevertheless both of those workflows are in there just download them and yeah this is going to be image to video it's going to be text to video and they're rendering right now right behind me on the laptop so that's all i'm waiting for um, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a like, follow me on Instagram, follow me there. Um, would mean a lot to me. I do this completely for free and yeah, I just hope to help some people.